and here here's where I've kind of come to a, a conclusion. I mean, and we talked about you know recruiting quarterbacks for the strength of this scheme. Yeah, I at this at this point, and I you know I've said it in some other you know spaces that I you know, that I've been on uh, group chats that I've been in. I. I, I've had a. I, I think it's time to for a fresh start. I think uh, so too. Offensively, um, I think I think I think we need. This scheme is stale, and it's yeah. it's, it's it's been sh- you know, and, and the the signs have been been showing themselves for the past few years, um, and it was something that I was willing to ignore. You know, certain examples that that I was willing to ignore. You know, ever ever since that loss to LSU in in, in 2019. It, yeah, it just seems like you know Clemson has had it just had moments and here and there where it was um, just the off. It was just very ineffective. Just the 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 creativity, the the scheme, the the play calling. It just none of it was there. Um, and obviously that that culminated with last last season's awfulness um, offensively. And at, at this point, I, I'm just ready to see something different. I I I, I don't think this scheme is. I don't think this scheme is good. And they, you know, other analysts have, have said it, non Clemson people have said it, that, that Clemson's offense is it's, it's outdated. Yeah. And um, I, I think there's, there's a lot of validity to it. I, I think there are some things that Clemson does on offense that like, oh, yeah, you may, you can some of that, but the, 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 the overarching approach to how Clemson, uh, you know, runs its offense, it's not, it's not where it needs to be. Um, I, I watch so many other, uh, you know, college offenses where they are able to, you know, uh, scheme open and easy completions for their quarterbacks. Um, right. You know, you're not running right. a bunch of, you know, STEM routes or, or bubble, you know, a bunch of screen, you know, relying on screens, uh, being able to have a traditional run game that, that, that carries over from game to game, uh, you know, just being able to it just, you know, being able to run out of different formations, you know, being multiple and and finding ways to get guys open. Clemson doesn't do that. Everything seems hard. And um, everything seems hard. A, a, everything seems like it's it's pulling, you know, uh, it's pulling teeth. And this was something this this, this game was coming uh, in retrospect. I, I mean, yes, the offense overall, you know, from last year has improved, but it's still not anywhere good enough to to um yeah to and, get punched and, where, it, where it wants to be yeah. and you're right like as much as all of us clemson fans did not want to see it and and i was the forefront of that unfortunately like i i thought that clemson could kind of you know go into the bye week i thought we could kind of self scout and kind of figure some things out on offense. We could rely on that epic defense that we've had for two years in a row now, uh, mind you. We we have wasted two defenses, uh, which is which is kind of the the most frustrating thing as a Clemson fan is is I think we have had a championship defense both last year. I think we we have a championship defense this year as well. Um, and unfortunately, I don't think we have the offense to support them in a championship run or a college football run or, or anything like that, right? Will we get to the ACC championship? Yeah, I'm yeah. sure probably we will this year. Well, it, it's guaranteed now because yeah, um, well, yeah, Syracuse, it's, Syracuse, Syracuse lost. So Clint, yeah, Clint Syracuse the lost. Today. We, we locked up the Atlantic today. We are going to the ACC championship and it's unfortunate because Clemson lost this game. Uh, we absolutely embarrassed ourselves tonight. Um, we 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 don't deserve to be in the college football playoffs talk. And and there was a lot of people out there. Uh, I know if you go back <laughs> and watch our show last week, uh, our pregame show for Notre Dame. I was one of the loudest mouths out there talking about Joe Clatt and his uh, hate for Clemson, his absolute disdain for Clemson and their 
ranking at number four and how they were overrated and yada, yada, yada. Okay. Um, and I completely destroyed him on that. I said he was an idiot. He didn't know what he was talking about. Um, but uh, Clemson kind of proved him a little right in this game in the fact well, not that, just a little not just a little no yeah yeah, yeah. they they proved him completely <laughs> right in this game they made me look like a complete idiot uh so maybe i'm the idiot and joe clatt is the genius that's probably why he makes x amount of dollars a year and i don't so um i will admit that i was wrong about clemson i will admit that uh clemson fooled me I, I had way more faith in Clemson than he did, and um, he was right. He was right. Um, so I'm man enough to come on here and admit that. Um, it's unfortunate. I, I thought Clemson was, was a better team than that. I thought Dabo Sweeney was a better coach than that. I thought he could rally them. Um, but... I mean, what what was your thoughts? So it looked like DJ got benched at a certain point in this game. Kate came in, and then DJ was right back in. What what was your thoughts on that? Like that that was like kind of a weird transition. And I game. didn't. It's. It, I thought really. I didn't really think much of it. I was like, okay. they're just we're they're doing they whatever. Were just, they were just they're, trying something to yeah. to see if it. Yeah. Okay. And listen, I, you know, when Kate, you know, the pick six that Kate threw, I mean, that doesn't, uh, he was trying to make a play. It's, it is what it Look, is. Look, I don't, I don't, I don't think Kate, like, I don't, I don't think Kate should feel bad about that. Yeah. I don't think he should, um, I don't think any Clemson fan should, should take anything away from that. Um, he, he, like, like you said, like he, he was just, he was a kid coming in the game trying to make a spark in a play and I said pick, you know oh, I said pick six but it wasn't a pick six DJ threw the it, pick six yeah but, DJ but he threw, threw a, he threw six. an intercept but Kate threw he did throw an interception and yeah. that was kind of you know you know when Kate kind of threw that interception it was kind of like that was that was game over right uh, and yeah. it was probably game over before that but you know that was kind of like the last dish effort that Clemson kind of threw at Notre Dame to make a spark and it just didn't work out for us. Uh, for whatever reason, it wasn't our night. Um, I don't know why, because I think it was a mismatch for Notre Dame. And for whatever reason, Clemson made it look like it was a mismatch for us. Um, which is really crazy. 